Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Danica and I'm a reseller on the Poshmark app. I sell secondhand clothes, primarily. And yeah, so today's video is a haul video. I went to Value Village a couple times in the last week. I actually have like two other hauls I have to upload, but I think I might just scrap those because they're old now. Um, it's a bins haul and a regular thrift haul, I think, and like everything's already listed. Whoops. Anyway, so this I will record and upload tonight. <laughs> so um, yeah, like I said, this is um, two value vill village hauls and it is Friday night. I just bought myself a champagne stopper yesterday, so we're testing it out tonight. Cheers. All right, let's get into it. So first, this is from last night. Honestly, last night, I went to Plato's closet yesterday to consign some stuff. And then I just went to Value Village because it's like kind of next door. And it was pretty dry. Um, so nothing crazy. But nonetheless, I'm happy. So this is Saturday, Sunday. It's an anthropology brand. And they're just like... <clears throat> lounge pants kind of like flare um if these were a medium i wouldn't be keeping them but i would be definitely borrowing them i feel like these were probably part of a set but i only found the pants so that's all right next is this babaton which is aritzia as you may know so the group babaton and it's um a flannel it's a size medium and this looks so cozy it's like so soft love i ordered a pizza so i need to kind of like you know get this done quickly these are a pair of fly london wedges they are more like summer shoes and we are going into winter right now but i just had to grab them i thought they were cute fly london does okay for me and these are a size seven I did get two pairs of Lululemon leggings. So this is the first pair. These are called the, oh no, I was gonna say all the right places, but it's not, I don't know. I used to have a pair of these, a cropped version, and then they um, broke. And I just like got rid of them because I didn't know that they fixed stuff. So this these are a pair, a uh, size four. And yeah, so they've got like the mesh kind of like detail there. Um, I just haven't Lulu fanatic yet them them yet, but I will. Um, and these are a size eight. And these are cool. They have like laser cut perforations. So those are cool. Next, these I got for myself, which like I say that all the time in videos. I'll be like. I'm keeping this, I'm keeping these, and the fact of the matter is, like, 99.99999% of the times when I say that, I end up just listing and selling stuff anyway, because I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I'm just, like, thinking about the money I could make off some items. Some things I do, like, keep and then trade off stuff that I have in my personal closet, like, I'll bring two things in that I thrifted and then sell two things, but... The, the way I would have begged my mom for these shoes 10, not 10 years ago. I was 21 10 years ago. I could have bought them myself 20 years ago. Like, are you kidding me? These are like the epitome of like Y2K chonk. And yeah, I might wear these tomorrow. I like love them so much they're maybe a tad too big for me and like they're not in the very best condition but it'll work for me 
Okay, I said there wasn't anything crazy good. So, I mean, I found Rothy's for the first time yesterday and I was convinced they were real. Like, I was so sure. And then my friend sent me an auth authentication post to like figure out if things are real or not and they were not real. So I had to leave them and literally as soon as I put them back on the shelf, I saw this and was like, are those? And they are. These are Doc Martin mules. Like how cool are these? Um, they're too small for me. I tried them on. Let's, I didn't even check to see what size they are. It's a, it says size four. I don't know what that means in Doc Martin size. Um, I'll figure it out. Like they're not that small on me. Like I'm a eight and a half, nine. And like, I don't think they're, they're not that much too small for me. Anyway, so very cool. Okay, so that was everything I got yesterday. This is everything I got maybe earlier in the week. I forget when I went. This is like just been sitting on the side of my couch. Okay, so this is a free people dress. It's all crumpled because I tried it on. <laughs> it's a size small, so it's a little snug, but she fits. Um, so it's like a tunic dress, but I just had a procedure done and like my scar or like where the incision is, is like literally would go right through here, which I don't hate, but I don't love either. So I don't know if I'll be modeling this. Oh my God. I feel like Harry Potter. I just said that and it like got sore. My scar. Oh my gosh. Okay, this I was very excited about. First time ever finding a hand knit um what the heck is this called? I know what it's called and I just like had a blank. I I've had two sips of sparkling wine. It's not because of that. Um oh my gosh, I'm losing it. Anyway, these are hand knit sweaters. And TNA makes a style like that. Their Sea to Sky sweater is based on this, but this is like a very, um, oh my gosh, this is like really gonna bother me. I have to go Google this and then come back. Okay, I'm back. You can stop yelling at your TV or computer or cell phone, iPad, whatever. It's a cowichin sweater. I like, I don't know why I forgot that word, but anyway, so this like style is called a cowichin sweater. Um, they're usually in this color scheme, cowl neck with some kind of wildlife or some kind of, um, yeah, usually wildlife interpretation on the front and on the back that's actually knit into the pattern. This thing is so heavy. Um, but anyway, so I saw this on the rack that the employee was putting away. I didn't want to get in her way, so I just waited for her to put it on the rack and I snatched it. Not when she was there. I waited till she was gone and then I took it. And I'm excited. Comps for these, if you don't know, are like mm, over $100 easy um and this one is in great condition the zipper works great there's i didn't find any flaws in the knitting um honestly i'm a knitter so i feel like if i found a miss like a loose um something i could probably fix it um but anyway so yeah we're looking at 100 150 dollars for this which is great okay next Oh yeah, I was so excited. This is the first time I've ever found brunette the label with brunette on it, which is, I've always wanted a brunette one for me because I'm brunette. I wore the blonde one once, but just because, I thought I'd turn that off. Um, 
that's enough but only because i was on a layover and i needed something to wear so anyway this is a size extra small small so it might fit on me um but yeah it's cropped next i like don't really 100 percent remember what's in here that's so funny um is this lululemon i need to research this because i'm very confused it's reversible but both sides are literally exactly the same i can't find a oh there's a loose thread here but that's okay that's so easy to fix um both sides are exactly the same i guess this side just has like the exposed seam like this side has the exposed seam, but both sides have a Lululemon logo. So I don't, I guess you can wear it either way. I couldn't find a size dot on either, in either pocket on either side. So that's kind of annoying. But <laughs> I guess I'll just try it on and see like what it fits like. And then I can always just also measure it, but it's like a very soft, I almost would say this might be like their cash loo um, material. And it's just like a little rose open hoodie, very lightweight. This would be so good for layering. Like if I had to guess, I can't put this over this, but I would say it's probably like a size four or six. I just fixed my nail and it's like driving me nuts. Next is this Lululemon zip up jacket, uh, mint color. And this is a size 10, which I love. Um, it did have some kind of discoloration on it, but I think I'll be able to get it out. I don't even know where it is right now, but Anyway, it didn't look like anything too bad. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's just this like, it feels like the dance studio pant material. Next, what's this? Oh yeah, this wolf sweater. I love getting like wolf graphic stuff. Um, I might be wearing this. This is a size extra large. So that's everything I've thrifted in the last week, I would say. Um, today, actually, so yesterday, like I said, I went to the consignment store. I went to Plato's Closet by me. I had like pulled some stuff from my Poshmark to just like kind of test the waters. And I brought, what did I bring? 28 items. And I thought to myself, if they buy half of them for $50, I would be happy and they actually ended up buying only 10 items but paid me out 58 so I was really happy with that so what you can't see is over there I have a huge bin plus an Ikea bag plus another bag of stuff um, there's just so much stuff in my Poshmark closet right now that is not bringing me joy um, just some stale stuff that I just don't want to look at anymore if the consignment stores don't take them I don't know if I'm going to re-donate or re-list, but um, yeah, I don't, I feel like a lot of people make mystery boxes with stuff like that, but I don't want to give someone like my stale inventory. Um, so if you're watching this and you want to box stuff, because like what doesn't sell for me could sell for someone else. If you want a box of stuff, just let me know. Like, li like I can honestly price it at like $2 an item. Um, I also pulled from my closet, not actually from Poshmark. I just like put it aside all my summer like shorts and cutoffs. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with those. If I'm going to like delist them and then relist them in the summer. Um, consignment stores are very seasonal. They will not really buy anything that's out of season. Although the store yesterday did buy a skirt for me. So maybe I'll just wait and then try them again in the summer. I don't know. Anyway. This is everything I thrifted. If there's anything you're interested in, let me know. If you have questions about anything, I will work on getting that listed this weekend, actually. Um, I'm planning a pretty big sourcing trip next week. Um, I'm not gonna say where or like what I'm doing because it's not that I don't want to see anyone. I just, um, I don't know. 
I just feel like I'm very awkward and like if I'm on a layover somewhere and thrifting people are like oh let me know next time you're here and I'm like it's not that I don't want to hang out it's just that like I feel awkward um and like nine times out of ten it's like someone I that doesn't I don't really interact with like someone like I haven't dm'd with before or like haven't don't know who they are like the first thing they're telling me is like let me know when you're here and I'm just like I don't know but like if we've like interacted on Instagram more than once or like YouTube or anywhere um I'm more than happy to meet up it's just like it's never like those people <laughs> are like oh we should thrive together it's like always someone I like really really don't know um anyway I should go and check to see where my pizza is and that timer was me I'm making pizza dough for my friend so um with that happy friday um and i'll see you next week